hey there, good looking. Do you want to train your shoulders and your abs using no equipment? Well, this is the workout for you then. Hey, listen, we will hit those shoulders as well as your core muscles in this less than 30 minute workout. All you need is some runners and maybe a mat if you're on a hard surface. You ready? Let's go get warmed up. Why, hello there. Hey, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com as well as over50fitness.co. And hey, listen, if you're watching this on YouTube, click that subscribe button so we can keep training together. If you are enjoying this workout ads free on our Over 50 Fitness platform, make sure you head to our private Facebook community after this workout and let me know what you guys thought of it, okay? I love chatting with you guys over there. All right, let's get warmed up. As we warm up, I'll chat about the workout. Down on the mat for me, lying on one side of your body, bring the knees in and then anchor your knees with that bottom arm. Top hands behind the ear, let your head drop. Now bring this elbow right in front of you, see if you can touch the ground and then rotate and see if you can get the back of the shoulder and the back of that arm to touch the ground behind you. Do it again. So we're warming up into the T-spine and shoulders here. And we're anchoring the low back so we don't twist through our low back by having our knees in front and then holding on to those knees with that bottom arm. Two more for me. This is one of my favorite T-spine drills right here. Last one. Excellent. Now take the arm, the hands, stack them. Circle the arm nice and slow all the way behind the body. You're trying to keep this hand on the ground the entire time and then lift it up to go over your hip. Let's do it again. Slide the hand forward. Circle it behind all the way. Keep the arm fairly straight and then lift it up when you reach over the hip. Four total. Once again, we're trying to keep that hand on the ground as we circle it above the head. Circle it behind the body. One more. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Here we go. And then be aware, right? One side could be tighter than the other. So give your body a little respect here. Anchor those knees for me, elbow in front. Rotate, try to get the back of the shoulder and the upper arm to hit the ground. We have four here. So we have a series of 10 moves. 30 seconds on the clock, three rounds, baby. All right, bring the hands, slide that top hand forward, and now circle it around. Try to keep that arm on the ground and slide it forward, circle it around. Two more. Last one. And come on up. All right, in a standing position for me, elbows in, palms facing out, and rotate through the shoulders, trying to bring your thumbs out to the side of the body, hitting into the rotator cuff. So yeah, we're mixing it up through a full series of body weight only shoulder drills with a ton of ab drills too. Your heart rate's probably gonna come up as well, so you're welcome for that. <laughs> and we have 30 seconds, three rounds of them. Anytime, feel free to take a break, all right? Two more. Last one. All right, now big arm circles going backwards. Maybe stagger the stance so that low back of yours is supported. Now we're starting in a plank position. We have a plank to a downward dog to get those shoulders fired up. Give me two more here. Excellent. All right, let's get set up here. High plank, so that means that your wrists are underneath your shoulders. All right, you can be on the knees as you'll see up there on the screen. We're in high plank here. Now push your bum back like you're in downward dog. High plank. And then if you're on the knees, you'll lift up off the knees and perform a downward dog. Now your hands are shoulder width apart, wrists under shoulders as I mentioned, and your feet are hip width apart. When you come up, you're kind of looking like an inverted V, moving through the shoulders here. And then we also get core because you're holding this plank the entire time. Time. On the right side for me, forearm, elbow and shoulder lined up. You'll see in the screen up there, I'm on the bottom knee, but you can go feet stacked for a more advanced version. Top hand in front, give me a reverse fly. Good. 
Now it's important that this bottom shoulder, this elbow's lined up with it. It's going to be the best positioning for your shoulder. And then I want you to pick up out of the shoulder and pick up through the hip so we get those obliques fired up while we work into the rear delt on this top arm and the shoulder on this bottom arm. 30 seconds here and then we'll do the other side. Time. Whew. All right, here we go. So once again, you can be on the bottom knee or join me. Feet stacked, lift up, lift up out of the shoulder. Good, hand right in front. For most of this workout too, we're on the ground. Hey, not bad, right? You're lying down for half of this workout. <laughs> this workout's a winner already. <laughs> We're in a plank on the forearms coming up in less than 10 seconds. Time. All right, on the forearms for me, knees to modify. You'll see in the screen up above. What we want to do here now is sway side to side. So I want you to try to go as far to your right as you can, center, and then left. So you'll put more emphasis on the shoulder as you sway to that one side. Well, we also get the core. <laughs> really try to go on the outside of that elbow, okay? Aiming for maybe the outside of your mat if you're on a mat, time. Bicycle crunches. You can have your feet on the ground as you'll see me up above if you have a sensitive low back or if you're just starting out with me. Otherwise, legs up and cycle. Now when we cycle, we take it slow and controlled, dropping that leg. If you're joining me here, as the heel comes down a couple inches off your ground, and we're not pushing through the head, all right? We're moving just through the waist. In child's pose in 10 seconds. But it's not gonna be the kind of child's pose that you're thinking of, <laughs> just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going child's pose to push up. So I want you to bring your arms forward, sit your bum right back. All right, now come up, push up, sit back. Good. When we push up, the elbows and the head should form a little bit of an arrow shape. So we're not pushing those elbows right out. By doing the child's pose, we're working through the shoulder mobility in addition to working shoulders, pecs, and triceps. You go down as low as it feels comfortable for you. Advance people, chest to the ground, please. Time, standing position, now we get to stand. All right, thumbs are pointed up for me. From this position, circle the arms behind you. All right, so backwards. Now when that timer goes, we're going to ignore it. We'll go another five seconds backwards and then we'll take it forwards, okay? Tighten it up. We want those arms almost slightly behind us as well. Good. So again, timer's going to go around five seconds. We will do another five seconds of these and then go forwards for this next exercise. Here we go. Keep going backwards for three, two, one, go forwards, let's go. Don't drop those arms, uh-uh. All right, 30 seconds here. Abs engaged, knees are soft, nice and tall on the spine. Great job. You feel those shoulders and arms yet? <laughs> if you don't, you're dead. <laughs> uh, all right, we're in a high plank coming up. Woo. Hang in there. Last three, two, one, shake it out. All right, high plank. So remember, when I say high plank, that means we're on our hands, wrists under shoulders. You can be on the knees to modify. Feet apart for me. Left arm, circle it back like you're doing a backstroke. Right arm, circle it back. Now when we circle back, don't move those hips. Keep them squared. Keep that form tight. Neck nice and long. We have a crunch pattern to do after this, and then we take it from the top again. T 
time. On your back. Arms above the head. Legs are straight. Now as you crunch up, you're going to come and see if you can touch the foot. And then the other side, maybe you're touching the top of your thigh. Wherever you are in your fitness journey or wherever those abs feel like lifting you up. I call this a running woman crunch. All right, we're taking it back to plank and downward dog in 12 seconds. Breathe. Time. All right, so remember, high plank, and then we push ourselves up to downward dog. Wrists under shoulders. Go. Now, we are weight-bearing on our hands for a few of these movements, and it's really hard to get away from that when we're working body weight only to hit the upper body. So, if you've got to shake the wrists out periodically, go for it. Time. Right side, side plank. Bottom knee or leg straight. Remember, elbow under knee, and then we have the reverse fly. Ready, set, go. Pick up. Good. But yeah, I tried my best to give us a good mixture so we're not all weight bearing on the wrist because it is it can be painful even if you have strong wrists. So I want you to feel your shoulders and your abs, not necessarily wrist pain. Ooh, time. I'm really starting to feel my shoulders now. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Sometimes I feel dead inside, don't you? <laughs> and lift up. <laughs> Actually, I had somebody email me, true story, to complain that I was too perky. <laughs> oh. So, I'm trying a less perky version of myself today. <laughs> Time. Woo. All right, plank sways. So the plank sways, you're literally looking like this. You're going side to side, okay? So if the camera was on the bottom, that's how it would look, yeah? All right, go. On the knees or the toes. Don't be too perky when you do this, though. Pisses people off. <laughs> Oh boy, this one will get those shoulders. Bicycle crunches coming up. Time, woo! All right, bicycle, so feet on the ground or join me on the full bicycle. We start here in tabletop if you're with me. Hands light behind the ears for both and twist. Breathe. Time. Woo. All right. Child's pose to push up. And if the push ups bother in your shoulders, just go child's pose to half plank. Don't do the push up. Ready? Arms in front, bum back. Come forward. Push up. Press yourself back. Now your hands are about mat width. And remember, when we do that push up, the elbows are pointing backwards slightly. We don't have them pointing out to the side. Protect the shoulder joint. Fingers are wide. If you're feeling the pressure on the wrist, perhaps grip your mat or your ground with your fingertips. That does help. And you go at a speed that's going to work for you. So this may be where you want to be, right? No push-up. That's totally cool. All right, arm circles. We go backwards. Thumbs pointed up. Abs engage. Ready, set, go. So this is where we go an extra five seconds after the timer goes and then forwards for the next movement. 
Don't make them big circles. I want to keep constant tension into the shoulders and pecs. And then the hands are slightly behind you, so they're not in front. You're going to bring them back a bit. Nice. All right, you ready? We're going to keep going here for five, four, three, two, forward, go. All right. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Plank with backstroke coming up. So this was our high plank. Coming up after this. Woo, baby. Oh, oh, man. All right, good job, you. <laughs> okay, so high plank. Wrists under shoulders, on the knees if you need to modify. If you're with me, feet apart. Keep those abs tight. Keep those hips quiet. Backstroke alternating. So we want to go backwards with the arm. So we also work some shoulder mobility, too. Moving on to the final exercise of the series, running woman crunch. Running man, if you're a dude, time, okay? And then we got what? One more round, exactly. Arms overhead. You tap your toe or your knee, whatever you can. Just give me a knee up, crunch up, exhale when you lift, and don't stop. Come on. You got your runners on, you showed up, you pushed play. Stay with me to the end. Time. Woo. Hello, abs. All right, plank, high plank to downward dog. Okay, on the knees for high plank if you want to modify. Otherwise, you're taking it through flow here. However, if you were on the knees, maybe give it a try. You might surprise yourself. It's 30 seconds, so try it out. Side plank coming up in less than 15 seconds. Time. All right, you can modify this. Remember, watch up there. I'm on that bottom knee. Everybody, elbow under shoulder. This hand in front of the chest. Open, close. Good. Pick that hip up high. Stay out of that bottom shoulder. Shoulder away from the earlobe. Breathe. Smile. Tell the body, last set, best set. You got it. Time. Woo. Other side. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to incorporate shoulder and abs too. So I think you'll say, I think you'll agree with me. I have. <laughs> That hand is just coming up, lining up with your body, and then comes back down. Less than 10 seconds, plank sways. We're on our forearms for that plank. Time. All right. The knees, if you need to tone it down a bit. Otherwise, join me. Here we go. We're up into plank, okay? Now we shift ourselves, and we're moving through the upper body when we shift side to side. The lower body isn't necessarily doing the movement. It's coming through the shoulders. So see if you can get that outside edge of your shoulder to hit the outside edge of your mat or to hit over top of it. Whew. 
time. Whew. Bicycle crunches. Feet can stay on the ground. Okay, or join me. They start in tabletop and go. Child's pose to push up, coming up. Time, woo, baby. All right, so remember, when you're doing that push up, the elbows are pointed back a bit so that the head and the elbows kind of look like the top of an arrow. Let's start with child's pose, hands in front, flow forward, chest to ground if you can, look up a bit as you come down. Don't let the head drop. Hands are just a touch wider than the shoulders. Don't go too wide. Otherwise, we won't be able to protect the shoulder by having the elbows pointed back a bit. Time, standing. Whew. Thumbs pointed up, backwards circles. So I want you to stagger your stance, really isolate into the core for me. Good, and now tight circles. Excellent. So if you're watching this in real time, hey there, you need to head to my website, fitnesswithpj.com, and get yourself signed up for my 10-day legs and a booty challenge. It kicks off on my birthday, which is next week. All right, five more seconds here. So let me send you 10 days of the best legs and booty workout you can do at home. You do need, let's go forward now, you do need equipment though, okay? So you'll need some dumbbells, one pair at the very least, a sturdy chair, and a booty band. And if you don't own any of that, well, I can't help you with the sturdy chair, <laughs> but I can help you with the dumbbells and booty band. Take a look in the link down below if you're on YouTube. All of the link will take you to my website, which lists all the tools I use. Woo, come on, five seconds. Come on, three. Two, one, whoo. All right, plank with backward stroke, all right? Whew. Here we go, high plank, knees to modify, go. Keep those hips quiet, circle the arm behind. Last two exercises. We have less than a minute left. Time, whoo, all right, running person, crunch. We'll keep it gender neutral, all right? Running person, crunch, ready? Exhale when you come up, go. Tap your toe, tap your shin, tap your knee, tap your thigh, whatever you can. Just don't stop, it's our last exercise, come on. Time, Woo! good job you. All right, let's do a couple of quick stretches. Here we go. Straighten the legs, bring the arms overhead, reach it, toes to fingertips. All right, step your left foot away from you and then cross the right leg on top. Grab onto the right wrist with the left hand and then inch your body towards the feet. So you're creating a banana shape with your body. Now, your right hip and right shoulder stay on the mat, okay? Good. And you should feel a nice stretch down the right side of the body here, as well as maybe into the shoulder, around the armpit area, your lats. Whew. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Maybe you're doing another one after this, or you're like, no, I'm good, PJ. <laughs> I know I'm good. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Whew. 
All right, so cross legs over and then just sort of walk and inch your body towards your feet. Grab onto that left wrist now with the right hand. Now we want that left hip and left shoulder still on our mat, our heads on the mat. And release onto your tummy, forearms on the ground, elbows under shoulders, pull the shoulders away from the earlobes, drop the hips down to your ground, look up ever so slightly. If you feel pinching in your low back, tighten up your glutes. If that pinching is still there, walk your hands forward so you're not extending the spine quite so much. So here, spinal extension, while we also get a nice stretch into the abs. Final stretch, thread the right arm underneath, come down onto that right shoulder. Now take that left hand and walk it around your body, and if you're able to, grab onto the right thigh with the hand. Couple more breaths. And release. Left arm under, palm up. Feel that stretch into that left shoulder. And if you are able to, walk that other hand around the back and maybe grab onto your left thigh. And back to center, have a seat, cross-legged if that's uncomfortable, if you have a chair close by or even your couch, we're only here for a few seconds, interlace the hands behind the head. Now let your body drop back into the hands a bit while we open up the elbows so that we open the front of the body here into the pecs, which worked on all our planks and our push-up movements. So thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a comment down below. And if you're on YouTube and you want to give my new fitness app a try, Over 50 Fitness, there's a link down below for a free 14-day trial. And if you're like, whoa, no, PJ, I quite like YouTube, <laughs> then please come and join us on Patreon so that you can help support the channel. And yeah, we can keep these workouts happening here on YouTube. And all the info again is down below. Release. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next workout. Until then, take care. Bye.